In this After Effects tutorial I'll show you how to create these crazy abstract patterns. Hi, my name is Manuel. It'll take only two layers and a bunch of standard effects to quickly set this up, so better stick around. Let's jump right in. First of all, let's create a new comp and name it Pattern. Size 1920 by 1080 pixels, 24 frames per second, 240 pixels long. Then we add a new solid. Command Y and name it Background. Color doesn't matter. We head over to the Effects and Presets window and add a gradient ramp to create a rather dark background. Let's position the start and end point of the ramp. I go for a very dark blue as a start color and a dark purple as end color. I mean, that's my color choice. Do whatever you think looks nice, of course. We add lots of ramp scatter, which helps to avoid color bending. Then we add a second solid and name it Pattern. We head over to the Effects and Presets window and the first effect we'll add is CC Particle World. Let's adjust some of the settings. Birth rate 1, Longevity 10. Let's open the Producer property. Radius X 0,025, Radius Y 0, Radius Z 3,5. Let's move further to the right in the timeline. Then let's open Physics, Animation, Explosive, Velocity 0, 0,3. Zero Gravity, we want the particles to fly directly towards the camera. Particle, Particle Type, Lens Convex, Earth and Depth Size 0 0.25. The rest should be fine for now. Alright, the emitter is in the center, spitting out particles. Nice. Now let's add Echo. Echo Time, minus 0, 0,005. Number of Echoes, 30. Starting Intensity, 1. EK, 0, 0,9. Now the particles turn into some kind of streaks. Not too bad, right? Next we add CC Hex Tile. For render, you could use Fold Alight. First of all, let's increase the radius to around 350. Now we're talking. We'll use Fold seamlessly for now. To make this whole thing a bit more interesting, let's set keyframes at the beginning for the radius and the rotation. Press U to see both keyframes in the timeline, go to the end and set the radius to 800. The rotation to 180 degrees. Then let's add a gradient ramp to add some color to the patterns. Position the start and end point again. My choice is cyan as start color and pink as end color. I really like that combination. And let's add some ramp scatter. That's the setup. It might take a while to render though. One last thing. The fun thing is, with every setting you change, the result will look completely different. Let's take Quad Polygon as particle type and Twirl as animation. And let's change the render of CC Hex Tile to Fold Aligned. Let's change the colors as well. How about a yellow, very bright pink combination? Awesome, completely different. And to change the speed, we add the pattern comp to a new comp. Let's name it. <laughs> something with time remapping. Then go into the comp settings and double the duration. Then go to layer, enable time remapping, adjust the comp length, and slow the animation down by moving the right keyframe to the right, or to the left to speed it up. If you open the graph editor, you can see the speed is 0.5 seconds per second, which means half the original speed. Have fun playing! On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell to get notified when my next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. See you in the next video. Bye!